What's up everybody, so you please here bringing you guys start with a brand new let's play and here it goes. Pokemon Fire Red version. Now, um, you guys are like something about circuit board, but yeah, you guys are like, you know what happened? 3DS capture card and all that stuff. Today was actually the day that I got enough money to buy it, so um, now I just gotta wait for it to come in. So until then, I guess we gotta, um, you know, fill in with another Let's Play Minish Cap is still gonna go up but along with this too. But anyways. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <coughs> My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Can't wait to turn the text into fast. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Let's begin with your name. What is it? Uh, which ones? Okay, I got it. Alright, fits in perfectly. But anyways. Alright, so your name is Rasuli, yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um what was his name now? Uh his name is Gary was on the thing. But I like to be punctual about it. Not punctual, like correct about it. Because I don't want to see his name in like full caps. So there we go. Or was it Gary? Yes. That's right, I remember now his name is Gary. Rasuli, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. The Pokemon awaits, let's go. Alright, um. First, we gotta go to options and turn the text speed to fast. And then. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, it's on fast. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. So what is this? Uh, so you played with the NES. Alright. So now it seems like decent. Alright. Let's go downstairs. You didn't even need to talk to them, mom, man. Alright. Hey, wait. Don't go out. It's unsafe. All the Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Rasuli. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, shoes. Hey, Gramps. No fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Um, in this Let's Play, I'm going to try to build the ultimate Pokemon team. Like, like literally, like an elite squad of Pokemon to like demolish the Elite Four. So everything that I use will be from what I heard. So you guys can give me stuff too, but for right now I have like my Pokemon team lined up. But if you guys tell me better like Pokemon in the comments and then I'll be like, oh this could replace this guy, but for now it's a surprise. But anyways, here we go. Squirtle. Nope. Bulbasaur. Nope. Charmander. Yes. 
We received a Charmander from Professor Oak. Or I could give a nickname to Charmander. I'll take this one then. So we got the Squirtle from Professor Oak. And now we're going to walk out. And then, here we go. Wait, Rasui, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Alright, so anyways. Rival Gary would like to battle. He sent out his Squirtle. And we're going to send out our Charmander. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Rasui, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? I did. A Pokemon battle is where trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Um, usually they keep on going for um, Growl right in the beginning. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Um, he's going for the tackle. Um, Rival battles, elite four gym battles. I'm not going to speed up, so this let's play should be less parts uh, than you think. But um, anyways, here we are, and now we are level six. Try to grow to level six. Player defeat a rival Gary. What unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. We got 80 Poke Dogs for winning. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Rasuli, ground, smell you later. Alright. So now yeah, I'm gonna walk out and here, let me. Alright, good, I thought. It was going to be out of HP. So yeah, we're going to continue on here. And all training and stuff will be done in between episodes. So you won't see me grinding and stuff in episodes. So. Alright, anyways. I'm still going to kill Pokemon though. Um, but I'm not going to be like walking around and stuff. Why does it look so laggy? Did that look sped up or did it look laggy? I don't know. Is this, is this game supposed to be 30 FPS? Or is it supposed to be, um, what's it called? What is it? What is the other one? Or is it supposed to be like 20? Because mine's is running at 20, but when I speed it up. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? We got Oak's parcel. Which contains Pokeballs, but I wasn't supposed to tell you guys that, was I? Oh, never mind, it does look sped up. Maybe it was just me. And then if you take here, you don't have to fight any bad guys until you come down here. And then we gotta go with Professor Oak. Oh, Rasuli, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? You delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's a custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you too. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records the data of Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Rasuli and Gary, take these with you. Uh, we received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We received five Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. Healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Rasuli, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you on Rasuli. Ha 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 ha. Don't bother coming around my place after this. That means you should go to his place after this. 
I remember um, how Gary always chooses the Pokemon that's like super effective to yours. Grandpa asks you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. We received a town map from Daisy. Ha, huh, what a small house. It doesn't even have an upstairs. Where does Gary sleep? Anyways, so now we are going to continue on. We're not going to tell our mom. Oh, mom, you know, I'm just going out. I'm not going on an adventure. I know how to do, like, like what is it called? E EV training and all that good stuff. Um, I've seen a video on YouTube of how to do it, but I'm not. I personally don't really care. I just want to build the ultimate Pokemon team. But, like, I guess that could consist of EV, IV training, whatever it is. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys how to do it real quick. Um, this is how I s learned it. Um, pretend you're versing against a, um, a Pokemon that's mostly consisted in strength. Then, and then you level up off of that Pokemon that that um that you killed that's mostly based on strength then um you will get mostly strength stat points rather than anything else so not strength attack so that's how you do that but anyways isn't there like a gary fight over here too there's a gary fight over there too but i'm not gonna go into that And here's the old man. Well, now I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on your Pokedex. Now let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokemon put the Pokedex automatically updates. It's data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon. I suppose I had better show you then. Um, this is BS. We all know how to catch a Pokemon. Alright, there we go. He got the Weedle. There, now tell me that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. <clears throat> we got a Tishi TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. But anyways, we're going to continue on here. Dun, dun. I remember in Pokemon, um, I found this store. Um, it's like an Asian market. I don't want to say Chinese because you know how people, there's like some people that get angry and stuff. They're like, you know, it's not all the same, but, um, it, it isn't, but you know, anyways, I went inside and they had like a bunch of, you see how Pokemon Ruby and stuff at like a retro game store, it's like $50 and Emeralds like 60 and all that stuff. There was a store, but I was like, I was like, how old then? Like. 12 or, th or 11 or something and then they had pokemon ruby sapphire emerald fire red leaf green and all that stuff in like their boxes and everything and they had gold crystal and all that stuff for like ten dollars each or if you buy two you, you you get it for 15 so i was like that that's isn't that like crazy right but like as a kid i didn't have a lot of money in general so I my mom said I can only buy one which was kind of fair to me you know what I mean like she's she's buying it for me but she, you know so um, like a few weeks back I went back to the store and then like they don't have games in those games anymore they only have like those weird Pokemon games like how do I explain it like Pokemon Dark Cry um, there's one with like Shaman on it Pokemon Trozy or something I don't even know, but they have those. So yeah, uh, it's kind of weird. Hopefully my thing doesn't faint. And also I heard your Pokemon stats get weaker if you run away from Pokemon battles. And I heard if you battle every single wild Pokemon, then you get like Poke Rust or something. So I'm going to try to get that too. How the hell did I lose? Uh, what? Okay, screw that. But anyways, how do I lose eighty dollars? See, I feel like I lost in a fight or something. But anyways, 
so yeah and then I went back to starting the on like all those fake Pokemon games and I wish I bought like their whole stock I would have bought their whole stock they had like five copies of each and I was like I bought Pokemon Ruby and I couldn't beat um because the last one was like a twist like it's like uh, I forgot what his name is I don't know what his name was but you fight him at the end of the Elite Four I didn't see him coming and my Pokemon weren't strong enough so I couldn't beat him. So then I traded it in. And like if you're a kid and you go to like a video game store, they're going to offer you a lower price than if you were an adult. Like I went to um, a local game store of mine um, like way back like when I was like 11 or 12. And then when I tried to trade in um, like a newly released game like a game that just came out at that time they only like offered me like seven to ten dollars which i thought was a lot in cash which i thought was a lot because you know i'm like oh my god i could buy this i could buy a bunch of candy all this stuff so then i used to um take it and then like i used to buy candy and stuff and then they would go ahead and sell the game behind my back for like forty dollars or fifty or something like that or like something like just like five to ten dollars less than how much it retails for and uh, brand new so um yeah I don't even know why I'm keep super speeding but anyways we're gonna go inside the Pokemon Center but now the video game store they gave me like they still give me like less but like decent like you know what I mean like if I were to sell it on the internet I'd obviously get more but like that's a quick sell like from a store and I don't even need to um, bring my parents because some video game stores obviously they go like oh you need your parents or else you can't you can't trade in your games um, I don't think Future Shop does it but anyways we're gonna fight the gym I'm not gonna super speed Brock's battle, just like these two. Um, just, do, just do Metal Claw. Um, I think Onyx is gonna beat me in all honesty. Brock's Onyx. Onyx. So I'm kinda scared for that. And then I think this guy's another Geodude. Or Sandshu. Oh, I gotta hit Sandshu's freaking thing. Aw, oh, piss. He might actually kill me. Oh my god, I hate when they keep spamming sand attack and they're like, yeah, no, no, none of my attacks are going to hit. This is not fair at all. I need to give him a crit. I need to give him, okay, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm used to little Pokemon. Alright, whatever. Um, so yeah, anyways, make sure to leave a comment with a Pokemon that you think would suit the ultimate team. I have to look cool too, I don't like ugly Pokemon. Nah, I don't, don't want to go inside a stupid museum, ain't nobody got time for that, but anyways. I didn't mean to pull one of those, but I did. Oh, this guy, he won't let you pass through unless you fight Brock. He literally walks you over to the gym. I remember when I was a kid, I was confused with how to get inside the gym me and my brother we used to share a copy of um pokemon red but i'm not gonna fight the gym again actually i am gonna fight the gym again but yeah uh me and my brother used to share a copy of pokemon red and like no matter where we travel and all that stuff we took our, that copy with us and then like we would both play off the same file and then we'll be like you know like he had trained like say our Squirtle to a Volt War Turtle, and then I train the War Turtle to a Blastoise, and like each time we turn on the game, it's like something new because like we both played it so often. Okay, this guy's easy for some reason, and he is down and out. And hopefully, yeah, all right, we're almost at level 15, and we almost have a Charmeleon, and just only our first badge. I'm planning on having at least level 70s for when we get into the Elite 4. I remember the first time I fought the Elite 4, I had a Raichu level 100. Because the first um, Elite 4 member had um, a bunch of water Pokemon. 
and then I kept losing to the second one, so my Raichu would just go high. So you hear, I'm Brock, I'm P Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard, oh piss, my Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination, that's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. Fuhahaha, <laughs> you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. So I'm not going to super speed through rocks ba Brock's battle. A leader Brock would like to battle. He sent out Geodude and his second Pokemon's an Onix, which I'm most scared of. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through his Geodude, but I'm not going to go down without a fight. And if he knows whatever that, what is it called, rock, rock throw, then I'm screwed. And he is almost down and out. Um, he may actually use a potion, I'm not sure. Maybe he only does that with Onyx. And I don't even know if he's going to die, he's probably going to survive, yeah I knew it. But anyways, could just speed that up. Because, you know, I remember I was versing a, um, I think I had a squid or a Wolverine or something, and I was versing a Kakuna or a Metapod, and they kept using Harden, and then my tackles kept doing lower and lower damage. It was annoying. He's dumb, and it was a trainer, so I couldn't even run away. But anyways, here comes out his Onyx, which I'm most scared of, but we have Metal Claw, and our attack is highly risen or rised. Whatever you want to say, um, this we may actually beat him. Yeah, we're gonna beat him for sure. Yeah, but like I was saying, our, our attack is like good right now. So, ah, uh, don't tell me we're not faster than Onyx right now. Oh my god, please tell me we're gonna survive. Please tell me we're gonna survive. Piss, it was a crit. Alright, whatever, screw it. Um, we're probably gonna have a Charmeleon by the end of this episode, so I can put Charmeleon in the thumbnail. I'm gonna use a new thumbnail style, by the way, because I've been looking around YouTube, and I'm not trying to be like a copy or whatever. But, like I was always trying to figure out how those bigger YouTubers do their thumbnails, so I'm gonna. Uh, there's no point. There's no intent of. I mean, there's no reason to not speed up through the beginning of the gym battle, just because of the sheer fact that. Um, we lost at Onyx, so we might as well stop when on Onyx is almost dead. So if we beat Onyx here, which we probably, no we're not, we're not going to beat him. It's because of, um, Geodude, he used Tackle, and instead of, because before he just kept using Defense Girl. I want to evolve Charmander, Charmander here in this episode because, I don't, like, when I do off-screen recording, I don't want him to, like, evolve and then after we start recording again, you know what I mean? It's not that I'm lazy to edit it, I'm gonna have to edit it anyways, but it's just that, like, it makes more sense. Ah, oh, god, he did more damage than he did in the last thing, but we are level 16. And we are gonna turn into a freaking Charmeleon if this guy doesn't brutally rape us. Ah, oh, piss. Do we have any potions? Alright, whatever. I guess we're not gonna turn into a freaking thing yet, Charmeleon. Um. Oh, piss. Don't tell me I've been, like, past the recording limit. Like, my recording limit's like 30 minutes. Alright, we got like 5 minutes. Oh my god, I just healed my Pokemon, man. It's like freaking 12.53 at night. I'm risking sleeping time for you guys. But anyways. Um, I'm gonna buy some... I'm gonna buy like 4. I don't really use potions, but... I'm gonna have to do it. Alright, sir. And I'm gonna have to catch 60 Pokemon too. But anyways, here we go. You look, show me your best. Alright. I'll try. Um, I'm probably not gonna have legendaries on my team. Just for the sheer fact of not having legendaries on my team. But I can't wait till the 3DS capture card comes in. I'm so excited because that's like... 
like the most expensive piece of recording equipment I'm gonna have. I don't know if his next one's gonna kill me, but just to be safe, I'm gonna use a potion. Ah, uh, piss. I don't know if it's gonna kill me, man. I'm gonna risk it. Oh god, he used bind. Piss. Alright. I don't care. I'm beating Brock in this episode no matter what. But I'm gonna keep leveling up anyway, so I might as well just demolish him right now. Why I didn't do leaf, leaf green? Um, some of you guys may be wondering because um, I don't know. I just loved fire red way more than I did leaf green, even though it's technically the same game. But I like Charizard better than um, what's it called? Then, um, oh, we're winning this one for sure. I like Charizard better than Venusaur. And boom, he is out of the park, and we're getting a Charmeleon. Player defeated, leader Brock. I took you for granted, and uh, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I conquer you. On I I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Rasuli received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. That also enables the use of. Uh, the move flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move flash to use it. What? Charmander is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what it's gonna evolve to. Nah, I'm kidding. I know what it's gonna evolve to because, you know, Charmeleon is awesome, but. but I don't know. Like. Crayon's releasing a Charmander evolved into a Charmeleon. Um, wait, take this with you. We received TM39, which is Rock Tomb. A TM technical machine contains the technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use it, pick the Pokemon carefully, anyways. TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. We're gonna walk out here real quick. Um, I, I don't know what every TM is. Some people do, but I don't. The um, thing I liked about the newer generation Pokemon games, the TMs you can actually use as much as you want. Like, it's basically the HMs. But yeah, I'm just going to end the episode off here. That's basically it for this episode, guys. Please remember to comment, like, and... S okay. Oh, piss my bad. Yeah, okay. I don't even, there wasn't even a different save file. It said my circuit something board was retarded. Save error. Please exchange the backup memory. Okay. But anyways, um, like I was saying, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. To Rasuli Plays Rudis help a lot. Follow my Twitter, Tumblr, links in the description box below. If you have a question or a suggestion for an LP, like like um just a suggestion for an lp and um yeah until next time i will catch you guys in the next video later